In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to evaluate iterated integrals. In question A, we have to find the integral of the integral of this internal function with respect to y and then with respect to x. And the trick to doing these is to find the integral from the inside out. So concentrate on the answer to this. And then once you find the answer to that, the integral, then you integrate it between 0 and 1 with respect to x. Let's get started. With respect to y, the x is held constant and the derivative of this term alone, specifically this factor, is y, and remember, we raise the power by one and divide by that power. So we just found the integral for that individual term. The integral of x to the power of two, remember, x is held as a constant, and this suggests that our integral will be x squared, and we introduce the y, because taking the derivative of y would have given you one, Finally, the integral of 3y is plus 3 over 2y to the power of 2. This now needs to be evaluated between 2 and 0. And once we do that, we'll take the integral between 0 and 1 with respect to x. Now, without going into too much detail, at this point, you would be substituting 2 and 0 wherever you see a y. So you'd substitute 2 into these y's, and then you would subtract it by substituting then 0 into these. Think about it. If you substitute 0 into each of these, you'll end up with 0, because in each term you have a factor of y. Therefore, your brand new integral will be 0 to 1, and having substituted 2 into here, you have 4x over 2. Of course, you can reduce that. That would become 2x squared, and that would become 3 times 4 over 2 which is 6. And now you take the integral of this. I'm just going to reduce that to 2x. Now let's do this really quickly. This becomes 2x squared over 2. That cancels out. That becomes 2x cubed over 3. And that becomes 6x evaluated at 1 and 0. Evaluating each of these terms by 0 makes it 0. So all we have to worry about is this 1. 1 to the power of 2 is 1. Placing a 1 into here, we have 2 times 1 is 2 over 3. That's 2 over 3. And 1 into there, you get 6. Of course, you can combine these. 1 plus 6 is 7. So 7 and 2 thirds. That's the answer to question A. Let's use the same method for question B. We'll start with the inside and we'll take the integral with respect to x. So the integral of this term with respect to x is x to the power of 3 over 3 holding y constant. We'll evaluate this at 3 and 0. You don't have to worry about the 0 part because it will become 0. But over here we have 3 to the power of 3. That's like saying 3 times 3 is 9 times 3 is 27 divided by 3. That's equal to 9, but I'll leave it as 27 over 3. Now the integral of this between 1 and 2 of course, with respect to y, we have 27y squared and divided by 2, so 3 times 2 is 6, evaluated at 2 and 1. The upper limit is 2. So we have 27 times 2 raised to the power of 2 over 6 minus 27 times 1 over 6. 2 to the power of 2 is 4. 4 times 27 is 108. 108 minus 27 over 6. Whatever that is equal to divided by 6 is your final answer for question B. And there you have it. That is how to calculate iterated integrals.